So we're going to use a bunch of these 2x4 bricks in orange. I'm going to place two of them side by side like this. And then I'm going to place one of these right here. Another one of these right here. And then one right here. One up here. One this way. And then one that way. So the main base is going to be 2 by, or 10 by 10. And now we're going to, we're going to, we're going to connect some by a 1 by 10 piece like this on this side. And then we're going to take another 1 by 10 and do the other thing on the other side. Like so. And I didn't find any 1 by 8s, but you could, but if you have any 1 by 8s, you could do that instead of using 4 1 by 2s. But it will work too, as long as, you know, you have pieces, one, as long as you have 1 by 1 pieces, you'll be okay. And you're just going to do it all the way around. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to take more of these 2x4s. And we're going to go in a spiral again. Like this. We're going to take more two by fours. I'm going to place them inside here. And then we're going to take a 2x2 two two brick and we're going to place it in the center. Like, in. and then we're going to place two 2x4 two bricks in the center like so. And that will be the base. Before we move up to the next level, we're going to make the inside of the pumpkin smooth. So we're going to take six of these one by sixes and we're going to place them in the center. And you want um, to leave a border of two by twos. Like this. All right, now for the next level. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a bunch of these 1 by 2 by 1 slope. And some of them are going to go this way. We're going to go fa uh, facing to the right. Inwards. Like that. And then some of them are going to go the opposite direction. Like this. And then we're going to do the same 
nothing on the right side. So it creates the uh, bottom of the mouth. Now we're going to take regular 1x2 bricks and we're going to place them on that side. And then using a bunch of 2x4 bricks, we're going to place them all the way around. Also using uh, 2x3s put them in the back like that. Next level we're going to use 2x4s again. Now we're going to finish off the mouth with 1x1 one one slopes like this. Like that. And now we're going to take a 2x4 two brick with a 2x2 two two upward slope here and an upward slope here like this. And we're going to make two of those and we're going to place them directly above our mouth for our eyes. And then we're going to take two uh, one by two bricks and we're going to place them up here like that. And now we're going to finish by going around again. And now, we're going to go one more time, all the way around to finish the top. Now we're going to put the pumpkin aside for a little bit and make the sides. We're going to take a bunch of one by fours. And you're just going to stack them up to be seven bricks high. And you're going to make three of these. And now the last one is going to be a little more complicated. Not that much complicated, but a little bit. But we're going to start off with two one by four bricks. And then we're going to take two one by two slopes outward and then we're going to take a clear brick one by two brick two one by two orange bricks and top it off with a one by four brick like that. Now we're going to flip this pumpkin over and we're going to do the bottom of it. So this time we're going to leave a um, a 3x3 three three, three, like hole. So we're going to take one of these bricks and we're going to place it in the center like that. And then we're going to place one on this side here. One on the other side. And the last one on the bottom. Wow. 
Now we're going to take the remaining 2 by 4 bricks and we're going to place them in the center like so. Okay. And now we're going to take a bunch of these 2 by 2 upward slopes. If you can't find them, um, you can use either 1 by 2s or two by fours, they work either way. But basically you just want to have um, your slope over those outside bricks. And go like this. And since I'm using two by twos, I'm gonna use And now we're ready to put in the other outside pieces that we just created. So, the one with the face, we're going to use this weird looking one. And we're going to place it on like that. And now we're going to turn it. And we're going to place the bridges on the other side. And now we're going to do the top of it. So we're going to start off with a 1 by 4 tile. Place it like here, right here, like that. We're going to take a 2 by 4 tile and we're going to place it right here so that way it is all connected like that. Now we're going to take a 2 by 2 tile right here and a 1 by 1 tile. And now we're going to do that all the way around. Two by 4, 1 by 4, and then also a 1 by 1 over here. So we are going to create a 10 by 10 plated square. And then we're going to use 1 by 2s underneath a 2 by 4 plate. We're going to pour these and we're going to place them right in the center like this. Now, we are going to take a bunch of 2 by 6s and 2 by 4s along here. And then we're going to take a bunch of 1 by 2s and we're going to place them on the edges like that. 
And we're going to take four of these one by ones. I'm going to place them on the very edge. Like this. All right, now we're going to flip it over. I'm going to place three one by sixes in the very center. And that's how you create the first part of the top. So now this next part is that we're going to make a six by six and then do one by fours all the way around. So I'm going to take uh, yeah, one, one by six, one by six, and one by six. And then one by two, one by two, one by two. One by two, one by two, one by two, and one by two. Now we're gonna put two by fours in the center, like this. And then two more two by fours. And then lastly, one by ones in the last two corners. Like this. Like that. And now we're gonna put loops on. So we're going to take a bunch of these one by two downward slopes like that. This. So on four of the sides, it's going to look like that, and on, and then we're going to take slopes backwards here and then we're just going to keep on doing that And now all there's left is two by two spots. And what we're gonna fill those in with are these two by two corner bricks. So we're gonna place them here so it lines up with the corner. So corner to corner, like that. I'm just gonna keep on doing that all of these sides yeah so you don't want to put it here you don't want to put it here you don't want to put it here you want to put it here this also lines up with the studs as well 
Now we're almost done with the top. Just need to do a few more things. The next thing that we need to do is we need to line the, the top with one of my four tiles. And these are like, I think they're like a dark medium skin tone or something like that. Um, but you can do it in like any color you want. You could do it in orange, you could do it in tan, you could do it in anything like that. But um, I chose this color. So we're going to put four of these down like this. Now we're going to take, the, in the same color, four of these two by fours, and we're going to do a spiral. And then the last piece is this two by two jumper. I'm going to place it in the center. And for the stem, you can either use a one by one or you can use a two by two um, cone. And you're gonna place it in the center like that. Now, you place it together like this. One last thing that I would like to show you is that this can glow with a light. You can get these LED lights that look like a candle. And so all you have to do, turn it on, place it inside, and you got this glow and jack lantern. I hope you enjoy this tutorial of the Lego jack lantern. Thank you.